Hello and welcome back to the No Code series. This is already episode 20. How did we get here already? 20 episodes of building our new leave management app. Um, we've got lots to go. We've, we've reached a point now where we're starting to have a look at the logic. So last time out we didn't finish up the portal. We're going to come back to it. We did bits on the portal to create like a landing page and the ability to go and see your requests and raise a new leave request. Now we're going to see what happens after that. So we can see what the Citizen Developer has access to in the App Engine Studio to create some logic to request the likes of approval, um, maybe even setting the state along the way. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to switch over to App Engine Studio and start the timer. Okay, so in App Engine Studio as the lovely Emily Johnson. So what I need to do here is go into the section in the uh, the homepage here for logic and automation. So we want to be able to create a flow off the back of our leave request. Now, just to remind you what we did do, I believe in episode 12, if you need to go back to that, um, or 13, one of those two, we actually created some states. So we had a state for requested, there was a waiting approval, there was also approved and rejected. So we're going to be working with those and we're going to be setting them states as we go through the request. So there's two different types of logic and automation here. We're going to go for flow. Um, oh, interestingly, how do you want to add an automated workflow to your app? So you can build from scratch or start from something um, similar. When an incident is closed, post a message to Twitter. Okay, so it's got some nice pre-built um, flows that we can learn from or to uh, copy one of these templates, flow templates. Quite useful. Um, I'm going to build from scratch. And then we'll have a look at the UI and see how this works for Emily. So let's set up a flow, a flow name. My keyboard's over here. What's it doing over there? Right, okay. So we're just going to call it leave request um, so this is a state flow for leave request dash approval you get what I mean there a few advanced options obviously it's going into the scope we can um, deploy this under uh, a protection so keep it read only as part of the scope as well if we really wanted to uh, run it with certain roles or run it as a system user. I'm going to run it as a system user, so I'm going to choose that and click on continue. Two minutes 55 left. So let's see what we can do in that time in the flow. So it's done. Fantastic. Let's edit the flow. This is starting to look a bit more like flow designer. So it's taken a few seconds to load. That's not helping our time, is it? Two minutes 35. Here we go. Take your time. Processing. When you're ready. Come on. So also remember we've done this as a uh, record producer and not a catalog item. So our trigger is going to be different. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to keep this really simple. Obviously we could do a lot in this particular flow. I am going to keep it simple for the sake of our uh, demonstration here. So I'm going to just say when a record is created in our leave table, we're going to trigger this flow. 1 minute 44 remaining. Now obviously on the right hand side here we've got access to the different uh, leave request record uh, fields which we may have to dig into um, and now we can start some adding some logic um, and actions off the back of this um, so what we may wish to do is set the state first of all so let's do that so I believe it's update record uh, if it's good to update records there we go and we want to update the leave request record drag that in value state so we did already set the default state being 
requested. Um, I am going to set it to awaiting approval here. And then what I'm going to do next is create an approval. So ask for approval. And for our leave request. Yep, so we, we will use the, the usual approval. This has been obviously extended off of tasks, so we do have approval and approval history. And um, when uh, all users approve, I do want to ask approval from the um, from the manager. So um, where do we specify that? In here, um, so so an all users approved, uh, which approvers. So we can use our da um, data pill picker to pick the user. Um, let's go back to our triggered record. We could also go back to the update record. So I'm going to choose um, leave request record. I'm going to go to the opened by dot times up. So I will just finish this off. Open by dot manager there we go um, done so regardless that's going to go and ask for approval from uh, the the manager um, I'll just add a little annotation here um, get approval from manager and set state to awaiting approval okay right I'm gonna leave this one there very quickly uh, the time just kind of went there for us so we would have got to the next stage which is um, obviously we want to make sure that we can move this on after it's been approved um, we want to set the state when that happens so we will do that and we'll start to look at some more um, advanced conditions around this about going to a second level approver if required um, so yeah, join me in the next one.